at the first stores. Luckily, some of my favorite places to get decor from are all lined up in a row. So I'm gonna go into Hobby Lobby, Ross, Dollar General, and Big Lots. They're literally all in a row at our shopping complex, which is really convenient. I already have a lot of decorations from last year, but I did wanna show you guys the kind of like budgeting tips that I have when shopping for decorations. You can honestly make stuff from like the dollar store, Dollar Tree, into really, really cute decorations. I've done it with every single holiday that I shopped for and decorated for last year. I just like to show people, you know, what I look for and it doesn't take long to film so that's kind of nice and then you guys get to see everything come together all into one so I think that you guys will really enjoy this video keep watching and we'll go shop mom decided to be featured in the video today she's getting fall decor stuff for her house so here we are all this stuff all right, so I didn't record too much in the last tour because I want the stuff to be a surprise that I got before I show you guys everything, but now we are walking into Target. Yay. My goal for this is to mostly just stick with like the $5 dollar section because I'm not trying to spend way too much money in here. Um, and then I'll probably go over to TJ Maxx and Michaels just because I have coupons. Oh my gosh. I just stepped on something. <laughs> so yeah, we are onward into Target. I will show you guys what all they have in here. Okay, so sneak peek because it's not Halloween yet, but I did get some really cute Halloween decorations in here. However, I did get some fall stuff. I got like yeah. some fall pillows, some candles, and then I also just have like a little extra, like a candle and then like I think a pumpkin down in here somewhere. We have some cute stuff all in $5 or under section. Mom got some of these, super cute. I'm excited for this stuff. Okay guys, so this is officially the damage that we made today. Yeah. I have a lot of work to do in the living room. This is currently like what the living room looks like. So pretty much all of this stuff is gonna have to come down. It's kind of messy right now, just ignore it. We're going to fallatize this whole area. Halloweenatize. No, we're gonna fallatize. And yeah, so first I guess what I'm going to do is just do like a time lapse of me taking all of this stuff out so you guys can see what it's gonna look like when it's bare. And then I will start putting up the fall decorations and I'll just kind of show you guys what I have going on. So yeah, I'm excited. I didn't want to do too much recording there. It's just kind of difficult to record and shop at the same time. So um, I'm gonna start decorating and I'll show you guys what's going on. Okay, I also forgot to show all of the current fall and Halloween decorations that are in the hall. Little disclosure, Braxton is obsessed with Halloween, like literally obsessed. It's his favorite holiday and so I tried to kind of put together like a really fun little Halloween decoration arrangement last year it actually ended up turning out so cute I got so many cute decorations from like the thrift store and stuff so I plan to try and go there for more of Halloween and Christmas stuff when I buy more of those decorations I'm gonna be doing more decorating shopping hauls and also doing the decoration videos for all of those seasons make sure that you subscribe the Halloween stuff is really really cute it's like not a tacky Halloween look it's like super classy I got a lot of discounted like items last year when I was shopping so I'm gonna give you guys some of those like inside pointers and tips for just shopping in general so basically how I am going to decorate this year is I'm going to put up all my fall stuff of course it's the first week of September so I'm gonna keep that up through the last week of September and then the last weekend in September I will take down the fall stuff and put it like in this closet probably just this little side closet and I will put up all the Halloween decor some of the fall stuff can stay up with the Halloween decor so I'll do that and then after Halloween Halloween is over I will take down all the Halloween stuff and put the fall stuff back up for just a couple more weeks and then we will decorate for Christmas like the day after Thanksgiving so I'm super excited make sure that if you're not subscribed to my channel you subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because I already know that you're gonna love it and we are gonna get started by time-lapsing cleaning out this whole living room <laughs> Stay. 
Okay, so I think I got everything finally cleaned and I just went in and grabbed the rest of my fall decorations. So I just have this stuff and then over here, so all this stuff. So I'm just going to start getting stuff put up and we will see how this comes together, guys. I'm excited. So the house is officially decorative for fall. It just took me a couple hours and we're finally done I'm literally obsessed with how everything turned out. I think that it's really really cute I didn't have to spend a lot of money this year because I already had a lot of decor But i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys just a little bit of a tour and show you guys what it looks like in here So here's my little welcome sign nice and homey. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is the little table setup that we have I got these placemats last year at hobby lobby. They're a little bit dirty honestly, but they're super cute got this at joey this um, like garland. I had to have this sign from Hobby Lobby. I think it's absolutely perfect for my kitchen. Um, those are some cute salt and pepper shakers that I got from Hobby Lobby too. And then just some more decorative stuff. And then I have just little signs up. And then over on the side, simply blessed. I think this little area is really cute. It came together very nicely. When you first walk in, this is what you see over here on the wall. It says hello fall. I don't have another blanket to put up right now, so I just let this one go nice and long, but eventually I'll put another blanket up right there. Coming over here, we have just this little setup right here. I actually love all of this stuff so much. This is probably my favorite little spot. I'm loving this like green decor for fall stuff. I think it's really cute and I don't know. I love greens, so it's perfect for me. This is my little centerpiece. I got this table blanket. It really is a table blanket from Hobby Lobby and I just really like how it came together. Honestly, I think it's super cute. Best smelling candle in the entire world from Hobby Lobby. If you can get your hands on one of those, I'm telling you, you will not regret it. Over on this wall, I don't have too much going on over here just because I didn't spend as much time this year on this little section, but this little scarecrows are so cute. They were only like a dollar or two at Hobby Lobby, so I had to pick up a couple of those, of course. So this is my first little couch. I got this pillow last year at Hobby Lobby. The other side's flannel. So sometimes I actually use it for my Halloween stuff as well. And then I just have a regular orange one I got from Walmart. And then my Nana actually made me the little scarecrow one that you guys see, which is so cute. She's so cute. Look at that. I love it. So then on to the other couch. I absolutely am obsessed with this new pillow that I got. This one was only $5 at the Target section. It has some little stripes on the back, which I thought were actually really cute too. But um, we're gonna do that side. And then I got the orange one at a garage sale. And then just some more cute little flannel and squiggly pillows over here, just to add some more, you know, orange and colors. And then over here to the side, I have a kind of little random thing going on right there, but it's just because that's where my cords are. So I kind of have to have that all set up. I'm gonna put a um, little quote on that for Thanksgiving or, you know, a little follow y'all. Coming over here, we just have this little sign, which I'm obsessed with. I think it's so pretty. And then I have the harvest going across. And then over here is my favorite little spot. These flannel pumpkins are definitely super in style. I'm just loving this whole setup right here. I think that the colors really contrast each other well. And you know, I like that the black and white ties in with the browns. That's like my favorite is being able to tie in those neutrals. And then just moving up, we just have another little fall sign with a candle, some pine cones, some more little stuff going on. Yeah, so that is this side. And then that side, and it's kind of just hard to see everything as a whole, but I think it turned out like perfectly. I'm pretty obsessed with everything, so.
Okay guys, well that is the end of my fall decorating video. Make sure that you are subscribed. If you have not already, give this video a thumbs up because I know that you had to have enjoyed it. We will be doing a Halloween and also a Christmas decor coming soon. So you don't wanna miss that. Make sure you're subscribed, turn on the little bell notifications. I will see you guys for my next video. I hope that you guys have a great fall. Thank you.